Honestly, guys, it's gonna be hard for this island to get any better since it is one of the coolest islands with all the brightly colored corals. There's an octopus hiding over here, which is pretty great. Jellyfish floating by. If the island skin for this one is better than the current island skin, then the monster handlers must have tried really hard, guys. I don't think it's gonna happen. Hey guys, welcome back to My Singing Monsters. Today, we're gonna take a look at something that I've pretty much completely ignored until now island skins but first i've got some comments to read and some things to do first of all guys we're just gonna go ahead and throw some shade at my editor here sorry miranda but uh this person said i love how when matt was talking about flummox's antlers he held up his hands as if we could see them off camera yeah i didn't do that guys okay that was that was miranda i did this with my hands and when I was watching the video back I was like hmm I don't think that quite came across in the video obviously guys it's not a big deal but uh, this is one of the top comments and I thought it was kind of funny I wasn't the only one who noticed Miranda I love you thank you so much for what you do we wouldn't be here right now without you so guys say thank you Miranda down below in the comments Matt I'm gonna wake up the Celestials. Also, Matt. I'm gonna wake up the rest of Amber Island. Also, also, Matt. Let's read about decorations for half the episode. Listen, I am a man of many talents, okay? And what I do is I read your comments and I do what you guys want me to do. And I saw some comments asking me to take a look at these new decorations. And I thought that they were really awesome because they're from the community. I hope you guys appreciated that. Also, don't get me started on Celestials, guys. I don't know when the heck I'm going to make that Celestial video because it's going to take me hours and hours and hours to get all those Celestials. I was just taking a look at them. And did you know that one of them has 70 noggins? in the inventory 70 noggins who wants to breed 70 noggins man so I'll, I'll do it someday when i feel like it matt finally completes an island rare waddle and rare repetillo allow us to introduce ourselves say what if you look at the collection now there's just two other monsters sticking their little heads in here rare repetillo and rare Waddle. So we're gonna go ahead and breed those now. I just made a video called I got all the monsters on Amber Island and you do this to me monster handlers What's the deal with that? Why are you giving me content? So this should be pretty easy guys. We'll do scalar first uh, How many how many of these do I have? 29, okay, it's all good. It's all good You, you need to pump pump it full of relics, you know because we, we want this to happen Get all steamy in there by yourself and we'll see what comes out Hey, we got it. Better than a flag being unfurled, you know what I'm saying? I actually, I really like this uh, Repetillo. Do I have one of these already? There you go, right next to the other Repetillo that I totally have on this island, guys. Because guess what? I got, I've almost got them all. Once I get the rare waddle. Okay, check it out. Look at that. Damn! I gotta say, this looks better than the original, guys. And what does it say? Uh, rare Repetillo sports a notably spikier silhouette than its common cousin, though the use of these peculiar protrusions may surprise you. Embodying the elements of both plant and earth, this fiery rare rolls into a compact little ball and tumbles across farmlands far and wide, tilling soil and aerating earth as it goes. What the heck? It's a farming machine monster! Thing. Rare Repetillo's efforts help prepare the ground for new seeds to be planted each harvest season at the relatively small cost of a brief dizzy spell. Hey, that's pretty good. Very cool, very swag, thank you. And now we need to get our uh, waddle as well. Should we risk it, guys? Should we not put any more relics in the crucible? I don't really want to put six in there, okay? So let's just, let's just hope that the RNG gods got something for us here, huh? I don't think they do. Oh God, don't, don't unfurl a flag. I hate it when you do that. Oh God, four, we'll go with four this time, okay? I know, I know I should have just pumped it full of relics like I said, guys, but uh, you're killing me. It boosts your chances. Yeah, you know how to boost my chances if I actually put all of the relics in, but we're gonna go for it again. They can't unfurl flags forever, guys, it's not possible. Oh my god, they're gonna unfurl flags forever. Surely this time, we got it. Okay, surely this time. Come on, surely. One day in two hours, that's gotta be it, folks. It's gotta be the thing. Boom. 
It's a rare waddle. I've seen this thing before, but I had to put it in my uh, collection, okay? Look at that, guys! Should I just call this video the exact same thing? I got all monsters on Amber Island! Oh, another thing, guys. Check this out. If we go to, say, move this guy, and we see his volume. Volume is, is supposed to be maxed out. And I was like, oh, the Yelmet, I guess... I guess he's normal volume. No, you'd think maybe normal volume would be in the middle, but we're supposed to be here. Okay, so this is what slime is supposed to sound like when he's at normal volume. Still sounds better than when he was all alone, just screaming into the void. Hey, Matt. Tip. Check out the new memory game. It now gives you more rewards and can help a lot. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Here we go. Do you want to play the memory game? I don't remember if I do. Oh, uh, this is this is a very high IQ level, guys. I don't know if I can get past level one. Oh, I did it. I can't believe I did it. There we go. I'm so good. I'm so good. Really? Okay, I, I got that one. I got a lot of mismatches remaining, so we're good. Oh, got him. Diamond. And boom. There we go. Ding. Easy. You guys don't need to make noise if you don't want to. If it's up to you. Got it. Okay. Moving on. Got some XP. Whatever, man. We're do we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. I got I got it now. Okay. There we are. All right. All right. All right. I did it. I did it. Oh my God. They gave me keys. Got it. I actually did it. Just for a little bit of pocket change, man. Level 9, 50 mismatches remaining. Guys, I have three mismatches remaining. I gotta be very careful here. That's not what, I don't want that. That's uh, that. You're right next to each other. No. No. Well, I can't get any more wrong. I got one wrong. Oh, God, guys. Okay, all that work. All that pain in my brain. All that failure for this. I got a diamond. That's it. What do we do now? Well, we're gonna go to Plant Island, okay? Because we're doing we're doing the island skins, guys. We got through all the comments. Thank you for your comments. Appreciate that. Now it's time for the island skins. When it comes to the skins, they're not very prominently displayed. You gotta go to the info on the island, and then there's a skin tab right here. Island skin includes the following boosts. 15% speed up of monster coin production, 10% speed up for incubation in nursery, and a two times multiplier for wishing torch effects. That sounds like a big deal. That sounds like it could solve some of my issues with not being able to breed things good enough, you know? Once an island skin's been bought, its boosts are automatically added to that island. The skin doesn't even need to be act activated for that, guys, which is pretty cool. So this one. Let us bask in the bounty of the harvest with this lush skin for Plant Island featuring the Harv Herd Titan. With so many succulent fruits and veggies growing free, we simply carrot believe any monster wouldn't turn up to enjoy a healthy snack. Really? Carrot believe? No, not in the history of ever monster handlers. I would almost put this down as a third mistake the pun is so bad. It's so radishing, it makes our hearts skip a beat. Okay, the beat one's good. Okay, we get it, puns are sort of corny. Stop, stop it, get some help. So I thought you could get these things for diamonds, guys, but it turns out in the Steam version, you can only get all the island skins as a bundle. And I think it just said it was 12, uh, 12 bucks or something like that, so uh, give me a second and I'll buy them all. Okay, I bought it, but I think I might have to actually leave the game and come back. Guys, I should have had this already, honestly, because it's not that expensive in comparison to how much money I've spent on this game, which is hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It was 12 bucks, and it doubles my wishing torch power. Okay, I'm gonna leave the game and come back, and we should have them. All right, guys, now we got a little exclamation mark on our info section and our skin section, and we can activate the skin. Behold. The vegetable melon. <laughs> I was gonna say melody. Ha <laughs> ha Vegetable melody? Cause, cause they are singing monsters. It's not actually called that, right? It's called medley. Okay, just making sure. This guy's got a little, uh, what is, what is that supposed to be a tomato? I don't really know, but he's got something growing out of his nose. 
It's all plants, okay? All plants all the way down. Corn and grapes and beets and carrots. Is that asparagus I see over here? And uh, uh, I don't know what those leaves are at the top, guys, because there's a lot of different leafy greens out there. So, yeah, now we have uh, now we have a new skin, and even if we didn't activate it, we'd still get the multipliers. I don't really care so much for the 15 and 10, but the 2x multiplier sounds pretty good. All right, enjoy your veggies, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I also want to rank these. Okay, guys, so the vegetable medley is the only one so far, so it gets the rank of uh, one out of one. Good job, vegetable medley. All right, this one is called Sweaty... Sweaty Settlement? Sweetie Settlement? One of the two, probably Sweaty. Let's read about it, maybe they'll tell us why it's called that. The scalp of the towering Sweaty, I guess like Yeti, right? Okay, okay, is a daunting climb. But once you arrive, you'll find the comforting setting of this cold island skin. Sweaties are unflappable titans that are tended to by monastic critters and that don't bat a glowing eye when monsters scale their flowing locks. Every sweaty settlement keeps the same unfortunate secret to preserve the beast's dignity that snow is really dandruff. What? Oh no. Guys, I read that wrong. I thought I thought it was it was a skin pack for all the islands. They're twelve dollars each. I was supposed to buy the bundle, guys. Okay, it's still cheaper to buy the bundle here, but I was supposed to buy the bundle and I didn't buy the bundle. Well, I wasted money. So cool. I'm, I'm buy the rest of them now. So it turns out this video costs fifty bucks, not twelve. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, I think I got it now, guys. I, th I think we're good. Yeah, okay. So, Dandruff Island, folks. This guy has really bad dandruff. This sweaty. If it wasn't already bad enough that you're sweaty, you're also just, you know. So here we are hanging out. See this, see this little, little stuff, little, these little bits here? Not snow. None of this is snow, okay? None of it. Just, just let that sink in. Given what we've learned, I am gonna say that this one is two out of two and the Plant Island Vegetable Medley is one out of two. I mean, this one is a little uninspired if you ask me. Let's take a look at the Air Island skin. Well, it looks kinda cool. Giga Cheap Nest. Well, you know who's not giga cheap, guys? Me, because if I was, I wouldn't have spent $50 on these island skins. So don't be giga cheap with the like button, okay? You know, it only takes uh, approximately 1.258 seconds to smash the like button. I counted. What is a giga cheap, you may ask? Look below the twiggy surface of this air island skin and find out. The Giga Cheap is an ancient airborne behemoth seen once in a monster's lifetime, if it's lucky. Once a mature Giga Cheap's fledglings fly the coop, it becomes an empty nester and seeks to fill its island-sized nests with new monster friends. That looks like a little bell. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. You got little bells on there. This is uh, very peacock-esque, guys. I gotta say. I mean, look at this. Oh, look at the little bird over here. Okay, bird, I think right now you take the cake. Okay, I think you just put this island in first place and bumped Plant Island down a second place. Vegetable medley is cool, but it ain't birds. I'm not even a big fan of birds, guys, but still. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is our uh, our colossal. It's uh, it's a, some sort of bird, and there's it's got bells on it. I don't know why, but it does. Maybe so that when it comes around, like when people put little bells on their cats, so they hear a little ding a ling a ling when the cat comes in the room. My cat just goes, Aah! when she enters the room, and we always know she's coming. Honestly, guys, it's gonna be hard for this island to get any better since it is one of the coolest islands with all the brightly colored corals. There's an octopus hiding over here, which is pretty great. Jellyfish floating by. If the island skin for this one is better, then the current island skin, then the monster handlers must have tried really hard, guys. I don't think it's gonna happen. Also water themed, that makes a lot of sense. Glubber Lagoon. Swim from the middle of the living ocean toward the shore and you just might discover the fabled Glubber Lagoon. This water island skin reveals the greatest sea creature known to monster kind, the gargantuan Glubber. 
a Leviathan-like being that values nothing more than the revered treasures hidden within its bivalve shells. Legend says that for the right monster, these clams will open to reveal the most glorious treasure of all, the gift of glub. What the heck does that even mean? Activate it. Tell me more. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'd say this is better than the normal skin, but it is very beautiful. Look at those scales, guys. So yeah, the, uh, the castle is in a clam. I guess that's what they're talking about, the whole bivalve thing. We don't really have much else. Also, it's, it might be an oyster, not a clam. Who knows the difference? Not me. I know you do, person who's about to comment. What? Wait! There's a fish in that jellyfish! There's a jellyfish fish, man! There's a fish in there, man! He doesn't look very happy about it. I wonder if he's slowly being digested or not. <laughs> I'm gonna put this below air island, so we're going air, water, plant, cold. Sorry, Cold Island, but Dandruff just doesn't really get my motor running. So the current Earth Island, guys, is uh, some sort of like magma beast, a magma colossal thing. Is that what they're called? Colossals Ancients, maybe, is what they're called? Colossals don't show signs of life, but Titans do. So this guy right here, he's a colossal and he ain't doing nothing. So we'll see if maybe he shows some signs of life after we turn him into whatever this island's skin is. Temple of Hahu! Well, that sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Discover ancient artifacts hearkening back to monster antiquity in this Earth Island skin. Hahu is a great stone scribe who possesses the singular ability to engrave records of monster history into the brickwork of its very body. Though tragically, these engravings are in a language known only to Hahu itself. Etched into the surface of this living library are retellings of every major event in the monster world, stretching back to the dawn of fire and beyond. Activate. Okay, here we are, guys. So, yeah, we're definitely seeing some signs of life. Does the eyes glow and then shut off again? I love this. How cool is that, guys? There's sand coming out of this thing. That's, that gives it some points right away. All right. And I think it's kind of cool that there's, like, stuff etched in here. The ancient Egypt look is actually... It's really nice. Oh, look at that, guys. Is that a noggin worshipping a Tweedle? Or is it a bunch of fur corns worshipping a noggin worshipping a Tweedle? Wait a minute. Yo. Hey. They... All four of these things are lighting up at the moment. Okay, so it either does two on the right, two on the left, two in the middle, or all four. I don't really know what that's about, guys. I don't know if these are supposed to be eyes or something. I think for number one, guys, we're gonna go with Air Island. Uh, I just think it looks really nice. Kind of looks like a peacock or something, and there's a little bird. Uh, number two, I'm gonna say Earth Island, just because I like the way the sand moves and whatnot. Number three, Water Island. I like the little fish inside the jellyfish. Uh, number four, it's vegetables, guys. I don't know what else to say about it. It's number four. It's not the highest on my list, although I do like vegetables. And then number five is Dandruff Island, because Dandruff Island. Come on. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode of My Singing Monsters. I mostly just wanted to do this out of curiosity because it's been so long since I started playing this game and I've yet to check out the island skins. Also, we managed to once again get all the monsters on Amber Island, so that's great. Now, there's gonna be other things coming out during Anniversary Month, but I also have a few ideas of my own for, uh, you know, kind of one-off videos in My Singing Monsters. One of those is to go around and look at the uh, islands of other people and just see what they're doing, because I've seen some pretty funny stuff. I mean, you can make your own songs in this game, so uh, that would obviously be sometimes quite hilarious. Another idea I have is to take a look at fan-created monsters, because there's a lot of cool YouTube videos of kind of what-ifs, like, hmm, check out this monster I created. Imagine if that was in the game. That sounds like a lot of fun. And I would also like to ask an artificial intelligence to create monsters, create images of monsters. I don't know if you guys have seen my community post, but I've been doing that with your top comments, turning them into AI-generated images. And I think it'd be a super cool idea. So if any of that sounds good to you, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, check out this video now if you want.
Or you can leave me forever, if, if that's what you prefer. But I'd appreciate it if you stuck around and kept watching my content. Goodbye.